five minutes away from the Mumbles man's house. I got some lawnmower blades right there. I got to carry them back to a guy in Ocean View. So we're going to hunt Ocean View on the bay today and see how it goes. I'll get back to you. This is what we call a golf course beach. It's a big city park. It's about uh, three quarters of a mile from the cave east. Well, we got a nice outer bar and a nice slew right down through the middle. Couldn't draw it on paper, be any better. Whew. I can tell you one thing. The sand is sneaking through my toes and my sandals. The sand is so hot, I can't believe it. Stand by. Nice breeze blowing, finally. That's the first target for either one of us. See what it is. You got a two. A two, he says. Nice and solid. Could be a stainless steel nut. Or a piece of copper. Or a chain. I think I see. It's a cigarette pack. Oh, cigarette pack. There you go. I knock out 24. Loud. I mean, super loud 24. Stand by. 10 cent. And bigger cent. Too heavy for my pouch. We found a place with targets right there where Denny is. Up next to that pipe. Both sides of it. I found a bullet, I found a dime, I found some crap. But there's so much mud there, really thick clay. You can't haul it. You gotta take the clay up on the beach and dump it out to get the target. It's so thick. So I moved offshore outside the bar. I'm going to hunt that down to where the truck is. And if we don't find much, we're going to move to a different location. Well, we're leaving this hot goose, going someplace else. I think we'll go to Jockey Ridge. Baby, baby Jockey Ridge, I call it. You'll recognize it, I think. Location number two, East Beach. Two miles east of where we were. Hey, we got like little lagoons to hunt in. Captured targets. You've been here before. Well, I've been five feet. I got a dime and a quarter already. Four feet apart. That's a damn improvement right there. That ball spot we saw a minute ago. Three ounces of gray matter. First gray matter of the day. I got another dime and a penny. Well, we moved over to the second lagoon, and something's changing in the skyline. I don't know if it's going to mount to anything. It seems to be moving pretty fast. Well, we got some thunder, and we got ring in the scoop. A blinger, but ring nonetheless. Pure playing, I'm talking about. Well, here it comes. I don't know what's going to happen. 
Well, we got home before it got us. And I'm not sure it's going to get us, but it's still thundering, but no rain yet. I don't know. Looks pretty nice over there, but pretty bad right here. Stand by. Well, there's a roundup. Three gray matters, three quarters, four dimes, or four quarters. Three pennies and a piece of bling. A 22 bullet and a 9 millimeter, maybe. Fine ticket right here. What do you think, Boo Boo? Boo Boo says, I don't think I want some damn food. It's all I want. That's right, squawk a little bit. No wing crow. And Patriarch, she's waiting patiently. And little baby scooter is taking a nap. Well, we had a right good shower. It's over at the moment. I'm hoping for the rest of the night, but it don't have to be. It's still cloudy. Chris is still out of town. She'll be back uh, Wednesday midday sometime. In time enough to work the market with me on Wednesday. So I'm, I'm headed out to deliver some knives to a Thai restaurant. And I'm going to eat some Thai food tonight. I can't tell you what it is because I can't pronounce it, but I've had it twice and it's pretty good. Some kind of noodle thing. I'll show you. But it's so... Chris went with me about a month ago and it comes like four or five different levels of spice. So Chris said, I'll, I'll try the two. <laughs> Chris said it was so damn hot she couldn't hardly eat it at two. I don't know what five would be like, but I get it with no spice. I'm a nice spice kind of guy. Okay, I'll get back to you. Well, that's where we're going. Little place, but it's really good. Stand by till we get some chops to eat. The best of it. Spicy. Not for me. There were two more, but now there are only two. I cut this half up in little pieces. Long noodles over here. Outstanding. Thor and Zeus are having a battle. Not a major one but a little one, right over there, in that clearing. This might be my best customer ever. You've seen these before, but not the scissors. The, uh, he gets them sharpened about every four months, sometimes as much as five months, but almost clockwork four months. That's pretty cool. I get some strange things from time to time, but these are the strangest. The lady says these have all been dropped in the disposal. They're all banged up on the ends, on the handles. She wants me to polish them up a little bit. Get all the damage off of them. I don't know what that's going to be like. Interesting though.